Hi there, my name is Dr. Dawn Hyman. As you know, I am here to help you um, with your practice and we're going, going to talk about online scheduling. Imagine if you had a problem. You're watching TV, you can't understand the, the dialogue and you think, oh my gosh, I wonder if I should have my hearing tested. What if you could just on your phone right then and there at nine o'clock on a Saturday night, make an appointment with your office? I'm going to show you how you can link um, counselor and acuity scheduling. You can um, put in some basic appointments and just block them if you're worried about um, uh, the scheduling becoming too complicated. But this is the wave of the future. Most doctors, doctors' offices are moving towards the capabilities of online scheduling. It's even more point important if you are doing any kind of social media advertising it is nice to be able to give them the option to not only call your office or contact you with um, a contact um, form, because some people are a little leery about that, you can give them the ability to schedule their own appointment. And then you can just call later and you can verify their information, you can make sure the appointment was set correctly, but at least it gave them the ability to take that little task off of their plate so they don't have to remember to call Monday morning or they do a Google search or something and guess what happens? They find somebody else. So if they saw your ad, you want them to schedule with your office. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you my acuity scheduling um, calendar and this is um, set up based on two offices, two providers, and this is synced with Counselier. And I'm also, I've been given permission by Dr. Mary Shetling to um, set up her book and her calendar. And so what I need to do is log out of me and log her in. So hang on a second. Okay, so here we go. So we have Dr. Mary and we have Dr. Michelle. Um, unfortunately, Michelle apparently is no longer with them. So what I'm going to do is add in the new audiologist, which is Holly Myers, A-U-D. Now, notice the other one said Dr. Michelle Richardson, but if we go to counselor, it's stated as Holly Myers, comma, AUD, and Mary Shatlane. So I cannot stress enough that these two need to be the same, okay? So we need to be able to have direct link. We need Holly Myers to have um, two locations. She will be in Little Rock. Let's save that location. And we're going to save this calendar. Okay. And see how it changed it up here. And we are going to give an update to this one. Dr. Mary Shatlane is actually Mary Shatlane. A U D exactly with the periods the way they have it and we're also going to give her the little rock location okay so if you're wondering I'm under business settings and availability and calendars and this is correct up here okay so now under little rock we have these two providers I'm going to add another location so what we're going to do is again we're going to say Mary Shadowing AUD, perfect. And what's the location? We don't have the new one yet, so let's add it. And it's going to be Camden, okay? Okay, so it looks like she needs to upgrade to the growing business and powerhouse. All right, so what are our upgrade options? 
honestly, I do the powerhouse. And here's the number one reason why, because it's HIPAA compliant. So this is something she's going to have to consider. Initially, you can have a free plan, but there is the powerhouse, which you're going, it's highly recommended, obviously, that people, patients, information going back and forth is definitely secure. And it gives you multiple locations, et cetera, et cetera. So um, let's just stay with the one location to start, okay? And um, so anyway, you can add on multiple locations, but for right now, they're just going to have Little Rock. And now what I need to do is create availability. So they gave me the times that they are available for Little Rock. Um, they don't work on Sundays, so let's delete that one, okay? Um, Mondays, she is not in Little Rock, so I am going to delete this one too. And this way, um, let's say she does work on Mondays in Little Rock, but it's always packed and they really don't want surprises in the clinic. So they're not going to open up the online acuity scheduling for Monday. But Tuesday, she's from 8.30 a.m. So let's change this to 8. 30 a.m. until 1 o'clock p.m. Okay, and then Wednesdays they don't want acuity scheduling. Thursdays it's going to be from 1 o'clock until 5 o'clock. Okay, Fridays is every other Friday from 8.30 until 1. Um, for right now I'm just going to hold this and Saturdays closed okay so we'll get back to that in the other every other thing and right now they just want a hearing and consultation as the only um, visit okay so I'm going to save these hours and there you go here's the schedule and it's already in and it, it will be linking I am going to do the same thing um, for Dr. Mary. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to availability. And just for this little rock location, we are going to do Mondays from 8 a.m. until, sorry about that, 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. Okie dokie. And she doesn't want Acuity to schedule anybody on Tuesdays. And Wednesdays will be from 1 o'clock until 5 o'clock. Okay. So we're starting simple. So this way people can't just, you know, schedule themselves whenever. All right. We're going to cancel this. And we're going to save these hours. Right? Okay. So, and there's the schedule for her. Now, if I go to the client scheduling page, first of all, you now can copy this link and put it in your website. You can put it in Facebook for advertising and a nice little um, um, link will pop up for people to schedule. And we'll get to that in, in a moment. Um, But what I want to do is look and see, are there any appointments? There are not. Okay. So next what we need to do is actually integrate this with Counselor. Okay. So I'm going to go back to business settings and I'm coming back down here to now integrations. So I wa listen to a lot of podcasts and um, like um, Amy Porterfield and um, marketing things and when they have experts, marketing experts come on, they just refer to Acuity and they have Acuity connected with their Google calendar and things. And um, as you can see in Zapier, Square, you name it, PayPal, Ever GoDaddy, WordPress, um, which by the way, I have it embedded in my WordPress um, website. I also have it embedded in Facebook. Um, anyway, API is what Counselor is using to connect the... Um, the schedules. So what I'm going to do is go to view credentials 
And again, the plans say we have to upgrade. Oh, look, da la 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 la. If you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, right here it says user ID and API key. Okay. If I go into her administration and go to clinic list, and what did we say this was? The Little Rock office, right? Little Rock, I'm going to go to advanced settings. I'm gonna to go to schedule. I'm gonna to go to advanced settings. Right here, use your ID and API key. So all we're gonna do is copy the user ID. I'm gonna do a command C and then we're gonna do a command V, paste. And now we're gonna go back same thing with this API key. All right, command C to copy. I'm going to do a command P. Okay, referral type. Oh, forgot that. Okay, next we're going to synchronize all future appointments with QD. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Let's hit close and save unable to configure and you know what because we did not she's not upgraded to that particular plan that is HIPAA secured so she's gonna have to do this $50 a month which which I do um, and and then it, it will link. Um, we can get into more specifics on a different day and things, but that's the nuts and bolts of it. And basically what I can do is show you my website real quick. And I have it integrated um, in my WordPress website. So let's say we go to contact us, right? Or we can even come here, book now, schedule now, let's say. And I built it so that um, that button is linked to that embedded, um, if we go back here, to that embedded um, part that they gave us, client scheduling page, to this. I embedded that into my website. So then you can also build in Acuity um, the actual appointments that you want, you can, so let's say I want to clean and check, and then we say, well, who would you like it with? Oh, I would like it with Dr. Hyman and Woodridge. Great. And then it pops up here. These are all the available times for these 15 minute slots for a clean and check. And then it asks after, let's say I say four o'clock, right? Um, hit continue. What day did I just choose? I don't even know. In two weeks, November 6th. Well, Okay, so I'm going to schedule with myself. Then I'm going to put my information here, and then I complete the appointment, and then it confirms it. So let me put in myself, um, and we'll just say blah, 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 and my email, sure, hearing Dr. Don, complete the appointment. And look at that, it gave me the time, the place, and I can put it right into my Outlook or my Google. I will also instantly get an email, which um, would pop up. I can add it to my Google Calendar, all that good stuff. So um, we also have it on our um, Contact Us page embedded. You click, click here, same thing. Click on this, same thing, it pops you through. Same with I, if I do an ad for Facebook or whomever, um, I can just embed that and people can schedule straight away. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. This is something that we've been doing in our office um, for about a year now and it, it ebbs and flows. We have our schedule set as limited and liberal as we would like, and you can do the same. You can set the schedule, as you know, for different providers um, or even just different offices. Or you can just choose one day a month that it gives someone the ability to, to make an appointment. But it is the wave of the future, and the sooner you do this, the better. You don't have to go with Acuity. You wouldn't have to just necessarily use Counselier, but I do recommend you look into this. So. 
I hope that you ha are having a great day. If you have any questions, let me know and um, we'll go from there. Bye-bye.